Hi, I'm Andy Thompson. We're back with Word on the Street. Over the past few weeks, we've had a bunch of folks who have made suggestions to us of intersections or areas that they wanted to see addressed. And I want to spend some time talking today about what I think are the low-hanging fruit. Now, I don't mean major infrastructure improvements like major widening of roads, anything like that, but rather less intrusive and less expensive improvements that we can make rather easily and I think inexpensively that can, I believe, make a dramatic increase to our quality of life and our transportation system. One such intersection that was identified to us was the intersection of Military Trail and Palmetto Park Road. As many as 95,000 cars travel through this intersection each and every day. About 8,500 cars travel through this intersection during the afternoon peak hour alone. Now, I don't know about you, but one of the most frustrating traffic issues that I encounter is when you want to turn left in an intersection, but traffic has built up so much that you can't get into those left turn lanes. You're stuck waiting for the non-turning traffic to move, and you end up just having to sit through another cycle of lights just to get to the left turn arrow. Now, with this intersection, in the afternoon rush hour, most of the traffic, as you might imagine, on military is heading south. Lots of these cars want to go east on Palmetto, meaning they want to turn left. And there are two left turn lanes to head east on Palmetto. But the amount of southbound traffic that builds up on military ends up blocking access to these left turn lanes, which infuriates drivers like you and me trying to turn left. And in this bird's eye view, you can see the scope of the problem and just how many cars get stuck. Starting with the black SUV just at the cusp of the left turn lanes, inching left, hoping to get in, all the way down to the white car that began at the bottom of the screen and now, minutes later, is able to get into the left turn lanes. In this clip alone, 10 cars were blocked from getting into the turn lanes. That's 10 folks who are a bit angrier, a bit more unhappy, all because of the current configuration of the roadways. These left turn lanes should be extended further north on military so that the buildup doesn't unnecessarily block drivers from turning left. A similar problem occurs at the same intersection, but going in a different direction. Heading west on Palmetto, cars trying to turn north, a right-hand turn, sometimes get blocked from getting into the right turn lane. Again, the right turn lane could easily be extended further down the street, even all the way to the exit of I-95 if necessary, to provide better access, which will lead to less blockage and less frustration for those of us using the, one of the busiest intersections in our city. Here at Ward on the Street, one of our goals is improving the transportation in our city. And I'm blessed because I get to serve on two boards that makes recommendations to the city and our county. One is the Community Advisory Panel here in Boca Raton, but the second is the Citizens Advisory Council for the Metropolitan Planning Organization, which is a countywide planning organization that plans and funds transportation improvements here in our county. I'll make sure that these recommendations make it to the city and to the county. But if there are any other intersections, any other issues that you want to see addressed, please let us know, and I'll do my best to hit the street and see what we can do. So until next time, I'm Andy Thompson, and this is Word on the Street.